I was looking to identify Atilia cross vulgaris. I'll be looking for basal growth, epicormic growth, nesting at about five to six meters up in the crown of the tree. This is quite distinctive of this uh, common lime. The sprays, very often vigorous in appearance. The leaves cordate, a mid green, alternately arranged on the twig. Looking at more detail on the leaf, you can see the cordate at the base, and ultimately these are intermediate between Tilia cordata and Tilia platophyllos, the both parent plants of this hybrid, and so it hasn't quite got the paperiness and the uh, thinness of the lamina of Tilia cordata, but it hasn't again quite got the crinkled cabbage-like leaves of Tilia platophyllos. And what we get in terms of the form of the tree, well it's a broad crowned tree, but nearly always high domed, uh, reaching up and ascending much larger in terms of stature than either Tilia cordata or Tilia platophyllos will generally reach, both broadening out as they get old, this achieving heights of 26, 30 metres relatively easily, it would appear. The bracted fruit, very distinctive of the Tilia genus. And in the winter silhouette, I'd still have this high domed effect on the broad tree. But one could see all the epicormic growth that's causing the crown to be relatively dense, twiggy. And finally, I, I would have the typical Tilia winter bud. Alternate, red over green, consisting of only a very few rounded bud scales. And very frequently, the largest final bud scale just having a slight lip over the top of the other bud scales that it's attached to, giving a sort of slight fold to the end of the bud.